Welcome back to the Arkham Menard Series preview show for this week at Iowa. Uh, I'm Casey Campbell, and you know that's Charlie Crawl, the PR director for the Arkham Menard Series. I don't know that. You're the star, Casey, not me. Uh, yeah. You're the so, one who's got the, his name on the show. Oh, Come yeah. on, they know who you are. True. So, of course, uh, we're going to go to Iowa this week. I know there's a lot of a lot of stuff, and I know you're a very busy person this week. So I am, Casey, super busy. Of course, of course, we got to talk about Berlin. We got a first time winner in the Arkham Menard series. Timer, you owe him some nuggets too, man. Uh, no, you do. He asked me, when's Casey sending me that gift card? <laughs> no, I literally just talked to him an hour ago. We didn't talk well, about he, it. See, that's what he's telling you, but that's what he told me. Well, well, but yeah, true. He wants those spicy nuggets, man. No, that, no, Sam Mayer wants spicy nuggets. Daniel Dye wants a Sprite. All right, well, you, you can get that with this $10 gift card to McDonald's that you're going to send him. So. Oh, okay. Uh, but overall, how about Daniel Dye getting that? Big yeah, card? great. Is uh, that's exactly what we the series is for is for young drivers like him to uh, come in and not only make some laps but get some wins and establish himself as a uh, legitimate, you know, developmental prospect. And I think that's exactly what he did on Saturday. So congrats to him and uh, the GMS team. A lot of people don't realize that's a completely different team than one all those races last year with Sam Mayer. So they're kind of getting their footing back underneath them and. Uh, really good to see. And Chad Bryant, uh, right? You know, has won the last three Arca races. Well, that's wrong. So whoever gave you that stat was wrong, Casey. That was you. He's won the last two. He's won the last two. Okay. Right. So I every now and then I get it wrong, Casey, and I got that one wrong. So Billy Venerini was the crew chief for Dalton Sargent right. uh, when when he won. So um, I did get that wrong. Although you know. He did drive for Chad Bryant. He just did. To be, just to be clear, he did um, drive you know, for there, Chad. There was there was a time when when Dalton Sargent drove for Chad Bryant. Just wasn't at wasn't at Berlin that particular year when he won. But yeah, uh, yeah no, he's won the last two races there with Joe Graff and and now Daniel Dye. So that's uh, still pretty impressive, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Let's so, talk about Iowa, man. Let's do yeah. that. Yeah, let's do that. I was actually going to get into that. Um, big, big weekend for you guys. And I know that you are, and you just came out with a big announcement today. Of, there's going to be more people that are going to be there. Can you tell so, me all the people are, that are going to be there? So that's why I'm excited to talk to you today, Casey, more so than I usually am. So there are going to be so many uh, big, big names at Iowa Speedway on Saturday. We're going to have Rusty Wallace there, who is the designer of the racetrack. Stephen Wallace, who won the first ARCA race there, the first race of any kind there, actually, back in 2006. Larry Clement, who is a nine-time ARCA champion car owner, will be there. Of course, Frank Kimmel, who won all those championships, will be there as well. Kenny Schrader is going to be there, uh, signing autographs and visiting with fans. Um, how about this? Joe Gibbs there to give the invocation prior to the race, you know, go – uh, his, his grandson is coming in and stealing all of our trophies this year. So we're going to invite the coach in to, to give the invocation pre-race. And um, yeah, just so much stuff going on. We're going to have Larry Clement's very first ARCA car. And, and you know, if you ever did any search on, on the internet for race car pictures, you're going to come across that picture of the DuPont number 46. Yeah, I actually. Everyone wonders, out. everyone wonders what that, car was you know was this going to be jeff gordon's first car number was well that car was actually built for buddy baker um nascar hall of famer buddy baker and you know buddy was going to race it at talladega and he missed the show by like two one hundredths of a second and and of course hendrick motorsports being a, a very competitive team was like ah you know what that that car is not very fast we're going to sell it well larry clement bought that car and he took it to the arca races at daytona and talladega and atlanta and ran really, really well with Bob Hill and actually finished fourth the first time out with that car. That was kind of the foundation for Larry Clement's entire ARCA operation. So um, that car is going to be on display. It's going to carry, you know, just the, the exact colors that it was back in the day, the, the old advanced auto parts number 46. And it's going to be really cool to see that one of the most storied in, in discussed race cars in all of, you know, NASCAR fandom out there these days. So we're happy to have that. We're going to have the Sioux Chief gaming trailer, which will be there for fans to get in there and, and race, uh, do some sim racing against one another. 
Uh, we're going to have some live music. We're going to have some fireworks. We're going to have a cornhole tournament. We're going to have some big John Deere trailer or uh, tractors on display. Um, it's going to be a lot of really cool things going on on the Midway. And we're going to have a 30 minute driver autograph session. Uh, we're going to bring out our Iowa champions, Ron Hutcherson, Larry Clement, Mason Mitchell. Um, yeah, man, it's going to be, there's going to be a lot going on uh, for an ARCA show at Iowa Speedway. We're really looking forward to it. Of course, Rusty Wallace and Joe Gibbs, Stephen right. Wallace, and also the current Arkham Menard Series drivers will also be signing autographs as well. Right. The ones actually competing in the race. So right. I'm not sure whose line is going to be longer, Ty Gibbs or Joe Gibbs. Mine. That's true. You. That's true. A lot of people. Uh, Mine will be the longest line. You know why? Why? So I'm going to be the guy letting everybody in line. That's true. <laughs> Very true. Uh, yeah, we're we're seeing a, we're seeing some pretty good battles. But, you know, we got. Uh, and of course, this is a big weekend for you guys, not with just the regular Arkham and Art series, but we also have the E-Series back right. as well. So that's uh, something that's close to my heart. I spend all season working with those kids on the East and the West. And, um, you know, these next three East races are conjunction races. So, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be hard for some of them to get the, the attention that they, they rightly deserve. But, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing Roger Carruth out there knocking fenders with the national, you know, the national series guys and, you know, how about, uh, you know, Mason Diaz and Joey East, they've had really good seasons as well. Uh, Sammy Smith, what can you say about him? Um, I expect Sammy's probably going to be up there, you know, contending, contending for the win. And, and based on the way that he's run this season, Mason Diaz and Joey East, they can be up there, um, you know, contending for a top five finish as well. So um, how about, uh, how about Daniel Dye, you know, stealing a win from those boys Saturday night, you know, he's in contention for that East series championship. So, um, you know, if he runs just as well at Iowa as he did at Berlin, you know, he could really start making up some ground on Sammy Smith in that points battle. Yeah. And of course it's also, you can also get Sioux chief showdown points as well. Um, right. And that showdown point. championship is a little tighter than um, some of the, you know, the, the other championship standings, but you know, it's still, Ty Gibbs, Corey Heim show right there. Yeah. And also, this is also a big weekend for you guys because you guys are really the... We're the only ones, Casey. Only no, ones. No, the straight liners are running this week, too. Wait, they, what? They, they race in the straight line? The doing? NHR. And of course, I'm talking about NHR. How does that work? You just get you just uh, get you just get two cars up. You have to walk back when you're done? <laughs> Maybe That's I don't know. Fun. You you race what you race five hundred miles and then you have to walk back. Is that it? Uh, five hundred feet. So. Oh well, that's no. I still don't want to walk back after I race. Yeah, no, that's I think they ride. I think they ride in like cars and stuff. Our races are good because we we finish right where we start, so yeah. you don't have to do any extra walking afterwards. Yeah, but how important is it to be? You know, the you guys are the only motorsport in town i mean that's yeah, great i mean everybody's going to take a couple of weeks off for the olympics and that's great but we absolutely uh, are looking forward to being the only show in town and uh, we we invite you to come out to uh to iowa speedway on saturday night if you're in in the state of iowa you can go to any one of the menards locations there statewide and uh, pop in your promo code and get a discounted ticket we'd love to have you if you can't make it watch us live on mav tv there is no other racing going on no cup racing, no Xfinity racing, no trucks, no IndyCar, but ARCA's, ARCA's in action. We look forward to having you. And of course, uh, ARCA will be one of the only shows uh, next week as well, because double things weekend, back to Winchester, and then the West Series is going to go to uh, Colorado. Right, two races on the same day. How am I going to do that, Case? I have no idea, but you, yeah, you, gotta you've done it before. So um, I don't know that I can be in two places at once, but yeah, I think you're going to be down and you know, of course you'll be down in Charlotte calling the, uh, the Arca West race. Or uh, will I, or will I? Maybe, I don't know. There could maybe. be somebody else, but uh, it won't. Also, well, I'm going to tell you that it won't be somebody else. It will be me. It's just yeah. where will I be? That's true. All three races will be on. And of course I wanted to mention all three races will be on track pass as well. So Map TV and track pass all coming up. Yep. Yeah, because some people may not get Map TV, so that's the benefit of right. having you Track Pass. Stream all of those Map races right there on Track Pass. It's great. Yep. and of and of course, uh, how much can you get a Track Pass? Pretty good deal. Uh, Two ninety nine, Casey. Ninety nine a month. Yeah, that's it. I have Track Pass. You should. Yeah, 
of course you can get all the you can get all the uh, Arca Arca East and West races live. You can get Absolutely. all the Nav races live. And Absolutely. You can, also, you can also all your motorsports stuff, and you can even get IMSA races on there too. Yes, so, yes, yes. Everything uh, you name it, we got it. It's a good product. Uh, and of course, this is a big this is a, and one last thing, big momentum. You know, weekend for Iowa Speedway as well. A lot of people were very surprised when they saw that that this track was going to be on the schedule. This is the only scheduled race on for Iowa Speedway this year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, how is. important is it for you guys to put on a good show there to show? Look, what we're, we just there. want to go out and have a good race. Um, there's a lot of great race fans out there in Iowa. We look forward to having them out. Um, I can't speak to anything else, Casey. All I know is we're going out, we're putting on a car race, and uh, we look forward to having as many people come out and join us. There's a lot of room in those grandstands. We'd love to have every one of those seats filled. So come on out and join us. And it's been a pretty good turnout from what I've heard down there. So yep. it's uh, good ticket sales so far. Yep. All right. Charlie, thank you so much. And we'll talk to you next week when we preview Winchester for Arca Menard series and for the Arca West series of Colorado. All right, man. I told you I had 10 minutes. You took 11, Casey. You owe me a minute next week. <laughs>